Welcome back to the Wiki Show. Today we're going to create a new stub class Wikipedia article. Wikipedia actually comes in a bunch of different languages, and each language has its own Wikipedia articles. What this means is you can find articles in one Wikipedia that you can't find in another Wikipedia. You can find lots of articles in the English Wikipedia, but they might not have the same articles in Spanish. The Spanish Wikipedia may not have the same articles that are available in English. So I have an example. Here I have a subclass article on a moth. If I go down the list of species that are listed on this table, you'll find lots of different pages. Here's one that's red linked right here. So the red link means there's not a Wikipedia page for this article in English. I did some looking on the other Wikipedia page and I actually found this one on the Vietnamese Wikipedia page. So what we can do is take the information from the Vietnamese Wikipedia page and use that to create a version in the English Wikipedia page. So we're going to do that. To get started creating this Wikipedia page is actually really easy. All I need to do is click on the red link. So from here, I'm ready to create my new Wikipedia page, which is blank. So I'm going to go to the Vietnamese Wikipedia and use the web browser translate function to see what I have here. When you translate, you want to make sure you're translating accurately and it's formatted as it should be in the Wikipedia you are writing in. So we're going to go ahead and use this sentence as our opening sentence. We're going to keep the bold for the title. So if I just stopped right there, this is not enough to create a Wikipedia page. It'll probably get deleted. So let's fill it out. We need a source. So we have a reference right here. So we're going to go ahead and take this reference. So we're going to insert this reference. So I'm going to cite. I'll use the automatic citation generator. We're going to insert that. The next thing we need to do on this Wikipedia page is create a reference list. So I'm going to create a heading called references. Give that a heading and hit enter. So now to make the references show up in the reference section, we need to go insert template. We're going to add the ref list template and we'll use the default. We'll double check to make sure that worked by checking our work against the source editor. So we have ref list under references. So we'll go back to visual editing and when you switch back, it'll actually populate the reference. Now let's create the info box we see on this page. So you can actually look in the source code to see what kind of info box they used. So I'm going to go back and we're going to insert a taxo box. So we're going to go insert template taxo box. If we had an image, we would put the image link here and the caption. But we don't have an image, so we're going to add other information. We're going to start with name and we're going to put in the name. The next thing is classifications. So we'll start with species. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that just to see it's formatting correctly. And then we'll add genus. From here, this is just the work part. Now we have our taxo box created. So let's check our source code to make sure everything looks okay. So we have the taxo box title and reference list. Now we're going to go over here and add a few categories. Yes. Okay, we'll add the one category we have. Uh, there's one other thing I want to do is I want to link this page. So I'm going to link this text right here. Going to link, shorten that, and that's the one I want. So now I have a link. Now that we've finished putting together our stub class article, we're going to publish this page. So I'm going to create an edit summary that tells exactly what I did. And I'm going to link to the Wikipedia page I based it from. So this text will wiki link directly to the Wikipedia page we based this Wikipedia page from. So when I hit publish page, this will publish it in main space where it will be patrolled by a new pages patroller. Okay, let's publish this Wikipedia page. So here is our stub class Wikipedia page. If I go back to the Wikipedia page I got this from, way down here, there's that red link. I'm going to refresh this page and we'll find that that link is no longer red. And I click on it, it will actually take me to the Wikipedia page I just created. So great, we have created that Wikipedia page. After I create a page, sometimes I like to go look at the new pages feed to see my article pop up. So here it is, I just published it. It gives the date and time, who created it, and what I did, and a predicted class rating. 
Potential issues is listed as none. I hope that helped in creating a new subclass article based off a foreign language Wikipedia. Until next time, don't be a vandal.